The U.S. Army has grounded its entire fleet of 400 Chinook helicopters after some cases of engine fires, but the development is unlikely to have an impact on India, which operates 15 Chinook helicopters. The U.S. Army have found that an engine component called Do rings didn't meet the company's design specifications, but were installed during routine maintenance at an Army facility, which caused the incidents on some of the helicopters. The Cabinet Committee on Security headed by Prime Minister Modi has approved the development of Tejas Mark II fighter jet and manufacturing of prototypes and flight testing and certification at a cost of over 6,500 crore rupees. The chief of aeronautical development agency has said that the rollout of the first Tejas Mark II will happen in first quarter of 2023 and the first flight will be conducted by early 2024 and the production will begin by second half of 2027. Officials have said that the Cabinet Committee on Security will approve another 15,000 crore rupees project to build the AMCA stealth fighter jet within the next few months. The Aeronautical Development Agency and Naval Project Office aims to complete the preliminary design review of the TED-BF by 2023 after which the Navy will move for clearance of official grant by Cabinet Committee on Security. The critical design review of the TED-BF is expected by end of 2024, that will allow the start of metal cutting and procurement of the components and subsystems for assembly of the first aircraft. The first flight of TED-BF is expected by early 2027, and will enter production in 2031. At a time when India has offered a full technical evaluation of Tejas light combat aircraft to Argentine Air Force, a delegation of Hindustan Aeronautics have arrived in Argentina, and met with Argentina's Chief of Naval Staff Admiral Julio Gardia, and they explored possibilities of cooperation and exchanges. The HAL delegation also met with Argentina's Secretary of Defense Production, to present a large array of made-in-India defense capabilities and promote cooperation. Cochin Shipyard has conducted the steel cutting of 6th and 7th ships of anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft for the Indian Navy. A total of 16 vessels are being built jointly by Cochin Shipyard and Garden Reach Shipbuilders, and the Navy plans to have all 16 vessels in active service by 2026, that will undertake anti-submarine warfare duties. The Japanese ambassador Satoshi Suzuki has said, that Japan is open to co-develop co-design and co-manufacture under Make in India initiative in defense sector, like building naval vessels and submarines, participate in AMCA project, and also in parts components and materials which are used in making these different platforms. Bharat Electronics Limited and Japan's Toshiba Corporation are already in discussion for lithium-ion battery technology for submarines. Ordnance Factory Dum Dum, which is one of the unit of Yantra India Limited, has received bulk production clearance of tail unit number 107, which is used for 1,000 pounds aerial bomb, that is being re-established on a specific requirement from the Indian Navy. Munitions India Limited has flagged off the bulk consignment of export of 11,000 numbers of cartridge case for L-70 air defense guns, that will be delivered to Namo Group of Sweden. The L-70 is a 40mm multipurpose auto cannon developed by the Swedish arms manufacturer BAE Systems, that can engage high-speed aircraft flying at low altitude. European firm MBDA and Bharat Dynamics Limited have signed an agreement to manufacture the Mistral missiles in India. The Mistral 2 has been integrated into the light combat helicopter and Rudra armed helicopter, that is highly effective against UAVs and highly maneuvering fixed and rotary wing aircraft.